Esa fue lo mío. First I was a goalkeeper, then a midfielder, and then a defender. That was me. <laughs> One of the greatest defenders of all time is a Chilean legend, Elias Figueroa. At a time when Pele was king, Figueroa won the South American Footballer of the Year award three times in a row. From humble beginnings, he became an international star. Mira, eh, yo comencé, eh, yo cuando comencé, when I began playing football, no one thought anything of it. As a kid, I had asthma and heart problems, and when I was four, I had a tracheotomy. I was born in Valparaíso, and then we moved to Villa Alemana in the countryside. Because of my illness, I started in goal as it was the only place that I didn't have to run. Then I began to play as a midfielder. I was never an actual defender. I was a midfielder. Then one day, an assistant coach selected a youth team from Valparaíso to play in the national tournament. He called me in as a midfielder, but the centre-back didn't turn up, so he told me, go and play in defence. I said, no, I won't. I like playing in midfield. But he still put me at the back. And I never left. <laughs> Figueroa overcame these challenges to establish himself at domestic level with Santiago Wanderers and then the Chilean national team. The truth is that when you're a kid, you dream. When I was little, I used to dream of playing at this stadium. I used to dream of playing in the first division playing for Wanderers, especially because I was such a sickly child. As a player, he represents one of the great talents in Chile's history. He has a lot of respect, and that's seen across the many clubs in South America that include Elias in their history as one of the best on the continent. So it's a respect that's come through his strength as a player. This makes him the greatest football ambassador in Chile's history. Having appeared in nine FIFA World Cups, Chile are no stranger to football's biggest stage. Many talented individuals have proudly worn their red shirt, but none have ever matched Figueroa's achievement. He appeared at three World Cups. I could have played in five. Chile didn't qualify in 78. I didn't qualify in 70 or 78, in fact, but I went in 66 and in 74 and in 82. So the logic is that I would have gone to those two World Cups that Chile missed. Five World Cups, but I played in three. And that would be a dream come true for anyone. As Aroja seek to establish themselves among the world's elite again, a new generation of Chilean heroes are being born. But former captain Figueroa remains an icon. And last year, his former club, Santiago Wanderers, named their renovated stadium in his honor. It makes me and my family proud that it's named after me. I've got a six-year-old grandson called Elias Figueroa, and he always says, Grandad, we both have a stadium. It's our stadium. I hope it's an incentive to other sportsmen. It makes me proud, but it should serve as an example around the world for stadiums to be named after that country's athletes. And he's hoping his achievements continue to inspire. <laughs> Who would say that a defender like me, because I was a defender, would take the title of best player in South America from Pele? And I won that award three years in a row. Who would have thought that the little kid from the block would take the title away from Pele? So I say that nothing is impossible.